hardenability the term hardenability is used to measure the depth of hardness achieved that is martensite introduced into the steel section by quenching the steel from a stenite state the responsibility of a steel is to give hardening uh, treatment uh, which is uh, uh, the responsibility of a steel to a given hardening treatment is indicated by the property known as hardenability the responsibility of a steel to a given hardening treatment is indicated by the property known as hardenability greater the depth of hardness below the surface higher will be the hardenability of the steel this is the relation you, you must remember greater the depth of hardness below the surface higher will be the so the, the hardenability of the steel hardenability of the steel depends on the composition of the steel as well and method of the quenching and section of the steel as well the addition of alloying elements in steel decreases the critical cooling rate thus the hardenability of alloy steels is more than that of a carbon steel of the carbon steels while in the oil uh, quenching the cooling rates uh, are lower than water quenching in the oil quenching while in the oil quenching the cooling rates are lower than water quenching and thus the hardness values are uh, lower in case of oil quenched steels so in this figure with respect to the diameter the martensite range uh, uh, for the hardenability is shown like for the uh, diameter of 12.5 mm uh, the hardenability is uh, uh, between the uh, about 55 and uh, for uh, 50 uh, the 20 millimeter diameter steel rods uh, the hardenability is uh, like uh, in the range of a uh, 50 percent martin site range for a uh, hollow bars uh, and for the diameter with internal hole diameter of uh, 25 mm uh, again the uh, that uh, martin site range is given The larger section shows lower hardenability uh, in this figure because of their increase of mass uh, which results in lower overall rate of cooling. So uh, this figure shows the maximum hardness depends upon the carbon content. All these alloys have 0.4% carbon. The hardness is in the vertical, uh, vertical axis while the distance from the quench end is shown in the horizontal section hardenability how to check the hardenability and how to measure the hardenability there are different tests uh, uh, laboratory tests are available to check the hardenability one of the test is Jomini end quench test the most simple and convenient method of the of determining the hardenability is the Jomini end quench test Attach, uh, in this figure the quench Jomini quench uh, uh, specimen is cooled down uh, once when it was heated out to elevate it uh, to the austenite range and then when it was uh, cooled down uh, by water at 75 degree Fahrenheit uh, from the lower end uh, attached uh, this is the specimen of 4 inch with the uh, 1 inch diameter 4 inch length and uh, the holding facility is mentioned over here at the tip of the specimen the quenching uh, the water cooled quenching uh, is given to that uh, specimen uh, so uh, a proper procedure for the Germany quench test is uh, mentioned over here the Germany test uh, uh, involves heating a standard test piece of a diameter 25 mm and length of 100 mm to the austenite state 
fixing it to the frame in vertical position just like uh, is shown in this figure the like over here and then quenching the lower end by means of jet water this is the jet water and it is being quenched the specimen is 100 mm length and 25 mm diameter uh, in this uh, figure uh, if we look at the horizontal axis it is mentioned that 0 to 4 by 16 of an inch these values are given in inch uh, and uh, this curve if we look at this curve uh, from the 12 by 16 of an inch 13 or in 14 by 16 of an inch the curve is upward while uh, if we cross this 14 by 16 of an inch the values are shown in the downward direction while in the cooling rate is also mentioned at 1300 degree Fahrenheit uh, per second rate uh, the, this is the Germany quench uh, test procedure while the standard procedure may be available in the laboratory you can follow that procedure if you want to find out uh, the hardenability of uh, a substance of any steel Germany uh, uh, the the mode of quenching results in different rate of cooling along the length of the test piece after a quenching a flat of uh, uh, 0.38 mm deep is uh, uh, ground al uh, along one side of the test price and the hardness measurements are made along with the length of the test piece a bar of steel having good hardenability shows higher hardness readings for greater distance from the quench end uh, how to measure the uh, hardenability using germany end, uh, uh, end quench test this procedure is not explained over here with the proper but uh, the just elaboration of uh, this specimen that how to measure this uh, hardenability uh, is uh, the procedure the standard procedure for this is to prepare a specimen and uh, uh, just apply a water jet through the tip of uh, that specimen uh, over here the quench water the jet water is applied over here from the tip from and this is a holder mechanism to support the specimen during the uh, uh, test uh, this is the normal procedure but how to measure the germany the hardenability uh, this is the normal procedure for conducting the germany end quest but over here it is not shown um, uh, which is beyond your scope uh, but if you have your uh, laboratory test for the measurement of the hardenability test then you may use the germany and quench test quenching quenching is another method for the heat treatment quenching is a process of rapid cooling of materials from higher temperature to room temperature or even lower in steels quenching results in transformation of austenite to martensite a non-equilibrium constituent martensite is a non-equilibrium constituent during cooling heat must be extracted at a very fast rate from the steel piece this is possible only when a steel piece is allowed to come in contact with some medium which can absorb heat from the steel piece with a short period under ideal conditions all the heat absorbed by the medium should be rejected to the surrounding immediately the removal of heat during quenching is complex in the sense that heat is removed in three stages the first stage is vapor blanket nucleate boiling convection these three methods uh, uh, are used for the removal of heat
Time temperature transformation diagram. Uh, in order to explain the time tra temperature transformation diagram, we, the short name is triple T T T T diagrams. We want to remind the iron iron carbide eutectide reaction. In eutectide reaction, the austenite upon cooling with the 0.76 percentage of composition upon cooling it was formed into alpha ferrite plus so, uh, iron carbide uh, this reaction is fundamental to the development of microstructure in steel alloys upon cooling astenite having an intermediate carbon concentration which is uh, 0.76 percent the it transforms to ferrite phase having a much lower carbon content and also astenite with a much higher carbon concentration perlite is one of the microstructural product of this transformation you can see in the previous slides uh, which was explained uh, during the perlite transformation and the mechanism of uh, perlite transformation was uh, uh, also discussed over, over there. Over here, uh, in this reaction, the temperature plays an important role in the rate of astenite to perlite transformation. So, uh, we want to discuss the temperature plots versus uh, the time, uh, uh, which is uh, a function of the. Uh, in which the, the time tra temperature transformation diagram are explained with respect to the temperature uh, versus logarithm of time in the horizontal axis. This diagram is the iron iron carbide alloy for eutectite composition with the 0.76% carbon isothermal friction reaction versus uh, the logarithm of time for the astenite to perlite transformation to perlite transformation for the temperature transformation diagram uh, the s curves of the percentage transformation versus logarithmic of time at three different temperatures are shown in this figure. Uh, the plot, the HF curve of the percentage for, 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 for the percentage transformation versus the logarithm of time at three different temperatures are shown in this figure. The data were collected after rapidly cooling the specimen uh, composed of 100% astenite to the temperature. Uh, the three different temperatures one was at 600 degrees centigrade the other was is at 650 degrees centigrade the, other, the third one was cooled down to 675 degrees centigrade a different uh, logarithm of time um, if we see at the graph uh, the the 100 percent astenite was cooled down to 675 degrees centigrade at this time logarithm of time while 650 degrees centigrade was cooled down to log this logarithmic of time and uh, a different uh, logarithm of time. So, uh, a more convenient way uh, for representing this uh, time and temperature dependence of this transformation is uh, further explained in the next slide. Here is the better explanation of the time temperature transformation diagram basically this one is a time temperature transformation diagram the vertical and horizontal axis of the temperature and the logarithm of time this is the temperature while the horizontal axis which is this one is the logarithm of time Two solid, solid curves are plotted. One is the red one, the, and uh, the other is the green one. The red one 
represents the time required at each temperature for the initiation uh, for the initiation or start of the transformation the, uh, with the short word it has been represented by begin curve zero percent uh, per light which is uh, which represents the initiation of the in uh, of the transformation the red one is the representation of the uh, initiation of the transformation while the green one is the uh, for the con transformation of uh, conclusion that what has been found at what time temperature uh, the dash curve uh, corresponds which is in the middle one the it is the completion curve uh, it is the transformation completion it has been better explained from the above S type of uh, figure uh, the it which uh, over here the transformation ends the S type curves at uh, the uh, vertical curve in this plot is uh, represented by the percentage of the astenite transformation to per light the astenite to per light transformation uh, over here at hundred percent the transformation is completed and this is uh, the this point has been plotted uh, transformed to the green point which uh, uh, shows the completion curve at this point the completion uh, is the uh, completion has been done while in the middle point middle point it shows the 50 percent transformation the 50 percent transformation the middle point or the middle curve has been plotted uh, to show the 50 percent transformation uh, if we look at the s type curve and uh, it has been projected the middle point has been projected uh, to the middle dashed line similarly the initial point uh, over here uh, where transformation begins the transformation begins from 0% over here in this direction to the completion to 100%. This uh, beginning of the transformation is represented by the red curve uh, over here which uh, shows the transformation begins. Uh, we can note down for the transformation uh, the, the from the upper figure if we see uh, it shows that uh, the transformation temperature of 675 uh, degrees centigrade so this uh, curve has been plotted for the transformation temperature of 675 degrees centigrade of austenite to our light here one point is noted that for the uh, eutectite temperature which is over here it's 700 uh, 727 degrees centigrade the eutectite uh, transformation has been started from this temperature 777 degrees centigrade which is indicated uh, indicated by this uh, dashed line by this dashed line At this temperature above the eutectide uh, and for all times uh, only astenite will exist. Only astenite will uh, exist and it is shown as stable, astenite stable above 727 uh, uh, degrees centigrade. While below this uh, line astenite unstable because uh, uh, it has been cooled down uh, from its melting point which is 770. 27 and the transformation starts in this region below 727 degrees centigrade the austenite to per light transformation will occur only if an ally is super cooled to below the eutectide uh, is uh, indicated by these curves the red line and the, the, curve. the start and finish curves are nearly parallel and they approach the eutectide line asymptotically to the left of the transformation starts curve the transformation begin curve which is over here 
at this point which is uh, at about 500 degree centigrade uh, the astenite to perlite uh, the uh, the start and finish curves are, uh, are to the left of this uh, temperature the star the only astenite which is unstable will be present over here whereas to the right of the finish curve only perlite is exist uh, to the right of the finish curve uh, curve over here only perlite is shown over here uh, it, uh, the, the green line represents and between the astenite is uh, in the process of transformation to the perlite which is represented by the dash, dash line so uh, the middle line is the transformation 50% transformation so both the microstructures will be present one is for the astenite the other the middle is for the middle one is for the 50% uh, astin, uh, astenite to perlite transformation the end is the when perlite is completed over here we want to note one important point that uh, if we look at the begin curve and uh, it, uh, the temperature of 540 degrees centigrade the temperature increases with decreasing temperature such that uh, it uh, 500 if we look at uh, 500 about 40 degrees uh, centigrade the transformation curve is where only three seconds is required uh, for the reaction to go to 50 percent completion so the tra tra the transformation rate increases with the decreasing temperature over here uh, slightly parallel uh, perpendicular line about, about three seconds is uh, required to go to 50 percent completion so the transformation rate uh, increases with the decreasing temperature depending on the type of heat treatment time and temperature final microstructure of the steel or any iron carbide will be uh, changed so does the properties will also be changed uh, so according to the type of heat treatment or if we change the time and uh, temperature the final microstructure is found like in this figure the different regions with respect to logarithmic of time which is shown in the horizontal axis and with respect to the temperature which is shown on the, in the vertical axis the S curves are plotted and the regions are defined for the uh, different types of uh, heat treatment like for the austenite region uh, uh, the for the annealing region uh, the austenite has been cooled down from uh, say about 900 degree uh, cent uh, centigrade to about this uh, region we will get the austenite uh, uh, annealing annealing heat treatment process and so the properties will also change and this is the uh, normalizing uh, range uh, heat treatment process while the oil cooled this is the oil cooled region and uh, uh, over here below is the water cooled region all the regions water cooled regions to zero degree centigrade from 900 degree centigrade which is very quick cooling process over here and very short time uh, sh short time over here what will be formed the heat treatment process when what uh, uh, when an alloy is cooled by water cooling uh, for the oil cooling a bit longer time is required as compared to the uh, oil uh, water cooling and the heat the properties of that alloy will be different similarly uh, for the normalizing type of heat treatment um, uh, it requires more time as compared to the water cooled and oil cooled uh, at uh, a specific temperature normalizing 
for uh, the uh, different so this process the properties will be different for the uh, normalized co normalized heat treatment is compared to oil cool and water cool the uh, un annealing process takes much longer time as compared to the water cool oil cool and normalizing uh, all these uh, um, curves are plotted for the austenite cooling over here in this uh, diagram from uh, above the melting point of austenite which is a uh, 900 degrees centigrade so the properties are changing uh, over here in this uh, portion we have compared the properties the strength is increasing for the modern site uh, while the ductility is uh, decreasing when we increase the strength the ductility is decreased uh, so for example modern site have uh, uh, modern site uh, t modern site bentite fine perlite coarse perlite and spherodite these uh, the properties of these uh, are changing with respect to the type of uh, heat treatment if we look at this diagram this is an iron uh, carbon alloy with the eutectide of uh, uh, property of uh, zero uh, with the composition carbon composition of 0.8 percent the composition is uh, a is shown for the austenite p is shown for the perlite b is represented for the bentite uh, uh, benite uh, sorry benite and m is for the martensite for the austenite region which is approximately 727 degrees centigrade this uh, horizontal line is represented the dashed line is represented for the austenite region over here uh, while over here austenite above this line austenite is uh, in stable region while if we cool down this austenite uh, uh, austenite is unstable over here because the transformation starts before be, below this line and cool, when we cool down this uh, region the perlite region f uh, upon further cooling uh, from the austenite the transformation from austenite to perlite uh, occurs in this region similarly from the upper light to if we further cool down uh, in this uh, region and in this time range which is a uh, logarithmic time the transformation from perlite to benite occurs uh, similarly uh, the martensite which is point m where is it the martensite of transformation 50% is shown in by this line while the modern site of 90% transformation is shown by this line which is below over here the middle dash line is the 50% transformation 50% transformation of austenite occurs over here in this point and in this temperature if we cool down this temperature 50% per light region has been transformed over this uh, Similarly, 50% transformation of benite occurs at this point. Um, the one is the start of the uh, uh, transformation. Transformation begins over here. Transformation completes over here. 50% tr transformation is represented by this dash line. Here we explain this uh, time temperature transformation diagram with respect to one example. Uh, in this, this is an iron carbide alloy with the eutectite composition. Eutectite temperature is mentioned over here, which is approximately 727 degrees centigrade. Specify the nature of the final microstructure with respect to percentage benite, martensite, perlite, etc. for the alloy that is subject to the following time temperature treatments. 
number one when li begins at 760 degrees centigrade or approximately over here uh, and has been held long enough to achieve a complete and homogeneous uh, austenitic structure uh, the treatment is by meaning of for rapidly cooling to 350 degrees centigrade 350 degrees centigrade over here in this region hold for 104 seconds this is 100 104 seconds draw a perpendicular line over here and quench to room temperature quenching means the cooling of uh, direct uh, cooling by by water quenching to room temperature so explain this uh, uh, in your own words when we rapidly cool to 350 degrees centigrade what will occur what will be the properties of uh, and what will be formed over here all the regions are mentioned a is for austenite p is the for perlite region are defined b is for the benite a is for the pure austenitic region uh, m is the for uh, modern site start of the structure over here is mentioned while over here min m uh, shows the 50 percent transformation while m for the 90 percent transformation is shown in this region all the curves are mentioned so explain this example in your own words for the li when it, when it was cooled down from 760 degrees centigrade for these three cases spheroid if a steel li is uh, cooled down from a temperature say uh, about uh, eutectite temperature range about 750 uh, uh, or 727 degrees centigrade and uh, for uh, if it is uh, cooled down for a long time period uh, in the uh, perlitic or benetic region uh, this is perlitic region or this is and this is benetric region if this this steel li is cooled down for long time period for about uh, 18 to 24 hours another macro structure will form it is called a uh, spherodite uh, similarly benite is the microstructure uh, which is formed after cooling down uh, you take, take uh, about uh, uh, in uh, after cooling uh, down in austenite uh, uh, below austenitic region to uh, and below perlitic region uh, another uh, constituent of micro constituent will form this is called a benite the microstructure of perlite and benite can be uh, you can observe it you just search for the microstructure of benite and perlite you can compare uh, the lamellar structure between these two uh, compositions between these two allies In this diagram, the complete isothermal transformation for iron carbide of NLI eutectite composition uh, is shown. Uh, the A is uh, represented for austenite, B is for benite, M is for martensite, and P is for perlite is uh, shown. So this is a complete isothermal transformation diagram for iron or uh, iron carbide NI. Of eutectite composition. Uh, over here, a eutectite temperature is shown, austenite region is mentioned by A. Uh, similarly, this is the benite region which start which occurs, uh, the, uh, the transformation occurs. Uh, this is the 50% transformation line from austenite to perlite at uh, this particular line and this is the transformation which it begins and this is the line where, where transformation ends 
uh, below this uh, temperature about 540 degree centigrade benite region is strong uh, uh, started and uh, the 50 percent transformation line from austenite to perlite starts after this austenite to uh, benite region this region is 50 percent austenite to benite region while uh, this uh, uh, greatly depends upon the uh, the time required uh, to cool this uh, as a uh, li uh, if we cool down uh, in li uh, um, austenite region uh, within the range of uh, after 10 raised to power 3 seconds then uh, these transformation will occur the benite transformation will occur at uh, about uh, 500 uh, to 540 degree centigrade if we cool down uh, in li for sufficiently large amount of uh, time uh, which is about uh, uh, between 18 to 20 hours uh, within this region uh, below benite region spherodite region this is the region for the spherodite uh, spherodite will form so over here spherodite is not shown but uh, what we want to explain is the transformation from austenite to perlite and then to benite and then martensite and then perlite region uh, they are shown at uh, the specific position and uh, the specific points uh, specific locations are also shown like for the martensite 50 percent martensite and 90 percent of martensite uh, is uh, shown over here when L li is cooled down from austenite to uh, to over here martensite uh, these are the regions for the 50 percent transformation and 90 percent transformations what is martensite the my above we want to explain the modern site with respect to microstructure modern site is formed when austenite iron iron carbide li are rapidly cooled or quenched to a relatively low temperature if we uh, look at in the previous diagram uh, the modern site of 50 percent modern site of 90 uh, percent it is uh, extremely uh, located to it is located extremely to the right of the figure and that one is uh, a rapid cooling process this that region is a rapid cooling uh, within seconds and they say but inside is a non-equilibrium single phase structure why it is non-equilibrium that result from diffusionless transformations of austenite it may be thought of as a transformation product that is competitive with perlite and benite the martin side transformation occurs when the quenching rate is rapid enough to prevent carbon diffusion microstructural determinations of three isothermal heat treatments that is one this is one important example at the end of this topic the time trans temperature transformation this example is 10.2 in Kalister book uh, using isothermal transformation diagram for an iron carbide li eutectite composition which is shown in figure 10.22 specify the nature of the final microstructure in terms of uh, micro constituents present and approximate percentages of small specimen that has been subjected to the following time temperature treatments in each case assume the specimen begins at 760 degrees centigrade that uh, and that it has been held at this temperature long enough to have achieved a complete and homogeneous austenitic structure part a rapidly cooled to 350 degrees centigrade hold for uh, 10 seconds and quench to room temperature uh, b rapidly cooled to 250 degrees centigrade uh, hold for 100 seconds and uh, quench to room temperature part c rapidly cool to 650 degrees centigrade hold for 20 seconds and rapidly cool to then rapidly cool to 
400 degrees centigrade uh, and hold for 10 days to the power 3 seconds and quench to the room temperature this one is 10 raised to the power 4 second my mistake in exam uh, this figure will be uh, mentioned to you the, this is the complete isothermal transformation diagram for an iron iron carbide alloy of eutectite composition austenite benite martensite and pearlite region are mentioned when alloy is rapidly cooled to a specified temperature the examples we want to explain to answer the example with respect to this diagram solution the time temperature pass for all the three treatments are shown in the figure in in this figure uh, in each case the initial cooling is rapid enough to prevent any transformation from occurring at 350 degrees centigrade at 350 degrees centigrade which is between the 300 and 400 uh, part a this one at 350 degrees centigrade austenite also isothermally transforms to benite isothermally uh, rapid cooling this one is from 726 degrees centigrade. In the question, the statement when when it is rapid cool down uh, to rapid cooling over here, this is rapid cooling to 350 degrees centigrade. This is one step, and then uh, the uh, rapid cooling to 10 days to the power 4 seconds, and then draw a horizontal line. Uh, to until it reaches 10 raised to the power 4 seconds and then move downward this is one solution step uh, according to the question so if uh, it is cooled down so the curve A represents the ripple D cool down to and then quench to room temperature rapidly cool to 350 degrees centigrade hold for 10 raise to the power 4 seconds and then quench to room temperature this is the curve uh, the at 350 degrees centigrade as austenite isothermally transforms to benite because this region is benite isothermally transforms to benite this reaction begins after 10 seconds after 10 seconds why it begins after 10 seconds because if we look at this begins after 10 seconds after sin uh, which is about 12 seconds and then reaches completion at uh, about 500 seconds uh, over here 50 percent completion 50 percent completion is in the middle and then uh, 500 seconds uh, completion this is the completion phase this is uh, reaching the completion phase uh, this reaches to 50 500 uh, uh, seconds therefore by 104 second is uh, uh, over here 100 percent specimen is benthite over here 100 percent specimen is benite sorry uh, i call it benthite in the previous slide so uh, apology uh, for calling it uh, with the wrong name and no further transformation is possible because the whole region is uh, benite over here mm, uh, even though the final quenching line passes through the mountain side region of the diagram but over here this region is a uh, benite region we may compare this region uh, with the previous diagram that uh, what is this region now uh, for the second case when we rapidly cool to 250 degrees centigrade and hold it uh, for 100 seconds and quench to room temperature uh, for curve b when we rapidly it is also rapidly cooled down to we locate we will first locate 250 degrees centigrade 
the middle line we just locate 250 degrees centigrade in the diagram which is the middle line this red line or uh, this one repeatedly cool to 250 seconds hold for 10 se 100 seconds then we look at 100 seconds mm, after this uh, draw a horizontal line uh, we uh, hold uh, to 250 degrees centigrade and then just uh, move uh, downward this is uh, actually the 100% martensite region if we compare this region with the previous diagram we must uh, it must be known to us that uh, in which region we may have, although it may be given in the exam that uh, this is martensite region this is perlite region benite region but uh, uh, it must be mentioned to you uh, known to you uh, so it did uh, this region is a uh, martensite region in this case it takes about uh, um, from uh, about uh, rapidly cooling uh, part b uh, it takes about how much time uh, to 10 seconds uh, no 250 seconds it takes about uh, uh, 150 seconds at 250 uh, degrees centigrade for a benign transformation to begin so that 100% specimen is uh, still 100% austenite at the uh, as this specimen is cooled through the martensite region beginning at about 250 degrees centigrade progressively more uh, austenite instantaneously transforms to martensite because the, this region is martensite if we cool down uh, rapidly cool down uh, at uh, 250 degrees centigrade to uh, and hold it for 150 seconds although if uh, it was uh, to hold uh, this temperature to about more than 10 days about 4 seconds we may get a uh, uh, benite but uh, we have hold this to 100 and uh, 100 seconds still uh, we get uh, uh, the com button sign composition is achieved this transformation is complete by the time uh, room temperature is reached such that the final microstructure is 100% modern site. Now in part C. In part C when we rapidly cool to 650 degrees centigrade and then hold it for 20 seconds rapidly cool to 400 degrees centigrade and then hold to 10 raised to the power uh, three seconds and quench to room temperature there are three steps involved uh, first one is uh, rapidly cool to 600 degrees centigrade just draw a uh, about vertical line from 700 from this elevated temperature uh, from this current temperature this is the part c uh, in exam you may, may draw the curves like this this uh, is uh, rapidly cooling to 650 degrees centigrade rapidly cool to 650 degrees centigrade. next step is hold for 20 seconds just draw horizontal line from that uh, 650 uh, degrees centigrade time to uh, 20 second horizontally to 20 second horizontally this is uh, 10 and this is 100 and uh, then hold uh, 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 hold is for 20 seconds this and then rapidly cool down to uh, to about uh, uh, 20 seconds by the time 20 seconds has elapsed only approximate 50 percent of the specimen has transformed to per light then if it is cooled down to 20 seconds uh, about 50 percent is uh, per light is reached a region is uh, is reached and then rapidly cooled to 400 degrees centigrade after this uh, just draw a vertical line to 400 degrees centigrade uh, about 400 uh, to 400 degrees centigrade uh, this one is rapidly cooling this is the rapidly cooling and this region is over here 400 degrees centigrade uh, 
hold this for 10 rest about 3 seconds and quench to room temperature then locate 10 rest for about 3 seconds which is downward just draw a horizontal line over here and then cool down to uh, room temperature room temperature is uh, below 100 degrees centigrade over here in this region these uh, steps are uh, involved now we will translate the this line step by step first we rapidly cool down to uh, 20 degrees centigrade and then sp the specimen is 50% uh, per line then a uh, rapid cool to 400 degrees centigrade is indicated by the vertical line during this cooling very little if uh, austenite will transform to either perlite or benite uh, because this is the region for uh, rapid cooling during rapid cooling uh, perlite and benite is mentioned it has crossed the regions of uh, perlite and benite even though the cooling line passes through perlite and benite regions of this diagram at 400 degree centigrade we begin uh, timing it essentially zero time is indicated uh, by the figure uh, in zero time uh, by the time 10 rest to about 3 seconds all the remaining 50% austenite will have completely transformed to benite because we are passing to the region of benite upon quenching to room temperature any further transformation is not possible in as much as no austenite remains so final microstructure at room temperature consists of 50% perlite and 50% benite because why uh, it is a rapid cooling in the second step uh, from perlite to benite region at 400 degrees centigrade and then at 400 degrees centigrade we have hold this uh, for this much amount of time 10 degrees about 3 seconds and then quenching at 10 degrees about 3 seconds this region composition will have been achieved so but this has been achieved with a region of 50% perlite and 50% benite region uh, so this is the explanation of this uh, example with the three different types of uh, uh, different parts of uh, each step must be explained similarly for you for the students so the students must explain the uh, the time temperature transformation diagram with respect to heat treatment and microstructural constituent for the austenite benite mountain site and perlite uh, region formation uh, due to the quenching or rapid cooling or different types of cooling processes